I can't go on. There's too much dust. It's taking the curl out of my naturally curly hair. Today's Christmas review, we're going to be having a look at the Memory Lane Frida from Charlie Brown's Christmas. She comes included with a mirror, a hairbrush, a costume, and a stage dancing display base. Before we have a look at Frida, let's find out how tall she is. Let's stop the tape measure right there. She stands 5.5 inches in height. In centimeters, that works out to be 14 centimeters exactly. You want some size comparisons? Okay, you got some size comparisons. Here she is next to Charlie Brown. We'll put also Linus in there because we haven't really looked much at lions in these uh, comparisons. There is Lucy, and who else do we have here? There's Snoopy, and even though he's sitting, there, there's Schroeder. Kind of give you an idea of how tall these kind of figures stand to one another. They're roughly on par, but the same height to one another. Some are a little bit shorter, yes, I'll admit that, like Linus, for example, but on average, they're about the same height. For her accessories, she comes included with the same display base that we've seen with the other figures. These all connect to one another, and I'll show you that when we eventually have a look at Pigpen, because there's only four figures that have this type of stand. Nice flooring here recreates the floor from the stage playset in which the kids are going to be acting out the, uh, the Christmas uh, play directed by, of course, Charlie Brown. Um, I do like that it has a little spinning disc, but again, we'll connect all of these when it's all said and done. There's only going to really be four of them, unfortunately. Here's what the underside looks like. Oh, that's a nice annoying noise. But uh, that's what we got for our display stand. Same as all the other figures. There's nothing different between that one and the previous two that we had a look at. She also comes with her costume, which is very simplistic. It's just a Velcro costume that you can fit over her sleeves and then just Velcro that back up. I'm probably never gonna display her with it, just because it stands out, I feel like a sore thumb. Not any of the characters. Well, that's not true. I think Pigpen also comes with a costume. But all the other characters are, are sculpted in plastic, so then when you start adding fabric to only a couple of them, I feel like they're gonna stand out, so I probably would not display her with this. One thing I would have liked to have displayed her with, though, is the other accessories she comes included with. She comes with a hairbrush, with a purple handle and the bristles here are done in almost like a brownish beige color. And then she also comes with a mirror. Yes, if you look at the two of them, the colors look identical to one another. The mirror here has been painted in silver just to simulate the fact that it's a reflective surface. The problem is neither of which can be held in her hand. This, sadly, is a consistent trend I've noticed with a lot of these Charlie Brown characters. It's their hands. Primarily, I think it's their thumbs that are the problem. I know, I know, you're looking at it and you're like, well, she's got gripping hands. She should be able to hold it. Oh, no, she doesn't. Uh, the, the brush, for example, the problem is the brush is a little too wide. You can't put it this way. And if you put it this way, you wedge it into her hand and it just pops back out. If they had only given her longer thumbs where they're slightly curled around, the thumb could have helped aid in holding the brush. Okay, so it doesn't fit on that side. Let's try it on this side, and I'll put it this way. It stays in her hand, but there's nothing holding it. Again, there's no thumb there, so the brush, the brush just falls right out. Then we have a look at the mirror. The mirror's handle is a little bit smaller. Okay, doesn't... I feel like I... I'm sitting here struggling, trying to get a plastic mirror into a, a female plastic figure, and I'm asking myself, where did my life go? I should be doing more than just this. And, and yet I'm spending so much time and frustration trying to get the accessory into her hand. It just doesn't stay there. 
So we'll try it on the other hand. And this hand, you push it in and it just pops back out. It almost seems as if the hands, somebody who was designing these didn't do that, you know, that final last check. Okay, we've just made the figure, we've made the molds, all that kind of stuff. Should we distribute these to the store? There should be that last person. I don't know who this person is, but it should be the one last person that kind of just does a quality control. Hey, why not before we ship these out, let's see if they actually can fit. Okay, all right. I've got something to fit, but I don't know if you can see it. It almost looks as if the mirror is sliding back out of her hand. And it's just, it's just barely in there. Okay, we'll take that as some level of accomplishment. Unfortunately, the brush, not so much. I'm not faring any bit better with the brush, no matter how many times I try it. Lady Luck was just smiling down on me. She said, you know what? I feel bad for this guy. Especially when he says, is his life supposed to be more than this? Let's, let's help him out. Just, just let him, at the very least, hold the mirror. I feel, I feel almost as if I want to just glue it in place, but I'm going to take it out reluctantly because I know I'm probably not going to get back into her hand. Yeah, just barely. It just barely stays in there. Where did I go wrong? Anyways, so we'll take the mirror out because I, I should have not. I should have just left it in her hand permanently until the end of time or until it decided just didn't want to hold it anymore. Looking at Frida... For the most part, she's not a bad figure, but I tell you the biggest problem I have with her is the one thing I sort of mentioned at the beginning of this review, in the opener, if you will, it's her hair. Her hair is not full enough. Anyone watching the special knows Frida is known for having quite a considerable quaff of hair above in the front and in the back area of her head. Here they sort of just simplified it and molded the hair as close as they possibly could to the head. I guess they wanted to save a little bit on plastic, but they should have spent a little bit more, I think, because Freda is known for having a lot, a big puff of curly hair, and she unfortunately doesn't have that. The face sculpt is passable for Frida. Of course, she's got her purple dress, purple socks, and she's got the, the black and white trademark shoes. Again, I wish you could actually have these ones walking, because unfortunately they just can't do that. I'm really overall happy, other than the hair. I think the hair is really where it misses the most on this figure. You can see all the little rosettes of hair curls that she's got on the back. Like, the coloring of the hair is accurate, but again, just not nearly enough. Posability on her it would be exactly the same as all the other figures. Her head rotates all the way around. I should just do this for like the next five minutes. Wait for somebody to comment down below. I can't believe he twisted and turned the head for five minutes. I, I started a time card, a time clock, and I noticed I timed it. It's exactly five minutes. I'm not gonna do that. The arms rotate back and forth. She has a swivel on the forearm, swivel on the forearm. Waist swivels, and then her legs go forward and back. While I am reviewing her, Though it's not visible, I feel like my fingers have gotten progressively slicker. I'm wondering if she's getting some of the residue, that plastic problem I had mentioned with the initial Charlie Brown. I wonder if Frida's also suffering from the same problem. Because my, fan my fingers do feel a little oily now after having held her. Frida, ladies and gentlemen. She's not a bad figure, like I said. She looks mostly like she does from the, the special. I just wish that they would have spent a little bit more time on the hair to fill that up, and certainly a lot more time, so she can have actually held her accessories. Somebody announces from the audience, but you, you did get her hand to hold the mirror, yes, but it was such a small window. I'm actually even wondering if I'll be able to do it again. In final looks, this reviewer got some marginal level of success as a second time. Mark this in the calendars. The second time I was able to get the mirror into Frida's hand. Congratulations to this reviewer. Unfortunately, I still couldn't get the brush into her hand. Yes, the brush still plagues me. It will haunt me at night. I'm going to be tossing and turning in my bed thinking, 
Brush. Couldn't get into Frida's hand. Brush. Frida. Frida's hand. Needless to say, in final looks though, a decent enough looking figure. I think she's the weakest of the batch, at least from a likeness level. The red hair certainly makes her stand out, but unfortunately the hair just isn't sculpted well enough to give her the full luscious curls that she has in the Christmas special. She also gets herself the benefits of getting the costume, that yellow shirt, but I'm probably never going to display her with that. All the other figures are all molded in plastic, like I said, so displaying her with any bit of fabric, she's going to stand out. She's also going to stand out for the fact that she doesn't have nearly enough curls on her head, but at the very least, she at least is sculpted plastic, and she's not a bad, like I said, not a bad looking figure. I think I'm willing to say this, she's probably the weakest figure of this batch. I'm going to be ending it hopefully on a high note. We're going to be having a look at Pigpen in the next next video, which will also uh, wrap up all my reviews of the Memory Lane Charlie Brown Christmas figures. I know somebody is also yelling, well, what about Pigpen and Schroeder in the single carded figures, the ones that were outside? Yeah, I'm probably not going to get around to reviewing those just because I already had a look at them in the four figure set that came in with Lucy in the psychiatric table. Probably not going to spend my time to, uh, to open up the single card figures when they are in fact the exact same figures that we already had a look at. You guys have better places and other things you need to be checking out. I have to understand that. And of course, I have a lot more things to be doing. Still gotta wrap gifts and all that kind of stuff as well, so I'm probably gonna leave those off. In the meantime though, today we were having a look at the Play Mantis. This was the Memory Lane, Charlie Brown's Christmas, Frida. Disappointing. I don't know which I'm more disappointed in, the curls in her hair or the fact that she can't properly hold her accessories. I'm probably gonna say the curls in her hair. Make sure you hit that little subscribe button down below, Bunkos. I mean, more videos certainly will be coming your way. We've still got the possibility, and I know this for sure, maybe you guys are, I don't know, does he have more lined up for Christmas? The answer is yes. Boy, I just, I just gave away everything. More Christmas videos will be coming your way, even if they may overlap a little bit past the Christmas, the actual Christmas day. Um, at the very least, you may see a couple more Christmas related videos sprinkled among other things, wrapping up the rest of December. So stay tuned for that. If you guys are enjoying at the very least these Christmas videos, let me know down below if you are. Uh, make sure as well you hit that little subscribe button down below. That is crucial. So when new videos are coming onto this channel, for the most part, I think you'll get notified. Judging by for the fact that some of these videos are only getting about a couple of hundred views, I'm willing to think not everybody is seeing these videos. YouTube still continues to assure the content creators that the content they are producing is being seen by all of their subscribers, but I don't think that's I don't think that's the case. We have to be realistic by obviously the numbers that are showing. Either way, guys, more videos will be coming your way. And as always, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.